We continue to follow breaking news involving the death of State Senator Martin Nesbitt. The 67-year-old Democrat died tonight in Buncombe County, a day after he returned home from the hospital. News 13's Emma Wright is streaming live in downtown Asheville. And Emma, Senator Nesbitt spent more than three decades in politics. He did. Senator Martin Nesbitt was known all over the state. He had many friends on both sides of the political aisle, and they tell me things in Raleigh just won't be the same without him. Nesbitt served over 11 terms in the House and another five in the state Senate. Nesbitt was first appointed to the House in 1979 to take over for his mother, who passed away. In 2004, Martin Nesbitt was appointed to the state Senate by then-Governor Mike Easley. He was unanimously elected majority leader in 2009. State Representative Susan Fisher calls Nesbitt a friend and mentor. She says he is a political icon who dedicated his life to serving the people of North Carolina. His influence um, stretched across the state and um, across the country. Um, he would had a, a particular uh, amount of influence as Senate leader and um, I think that we will miss that influence, especially in the western part of the state. Nesbitt's death comes just 10 days after he was diagnosed with stomach cancer. Nesbitt stepped down from his post as Senate Minority Leader on Tuesday to focus on recovery, and Governor McCrory has announced that all state flags will be flown at half-staff. Reporting live tonight in Asheville, I'm Emma Wright, News 13.